Veterinary Dermatology The Diagnosis and Treatment of Superficial Pyoderma in Dogs and Cats The following presentation is a collaboration between the Vet Video Library and the Veterinary Channel. Superficial pyoderma is a bacterial infection confined to the upper layers of the skin and hair follicle. The infection is usually secondary to local trauma, keratinization disorders, parasitic infestation, hormonal factors, or allergies. In dogs, superficial pyoderma is the most common form of pyoderma, and it is also the most common reason for antimicrobial use in small animal practice. Management of pyoderma has become, unfortunately, progressively more difficult due to the presence of methicillin and multidrug-resistant bacteria. Pyoderma literally means pus in the skin, and can be caused by infectious, inflammatory, and or neoplastic etiologies. Any condition that results in the accumulation of neutrophilic exudate can be termed a pyoderma. Most commonly, however, pyoderma refers to bacterial infections of the skin. Pyodermas are common in dogs and less common in cats. Bacterial pyodermas are either simple or complex infections. Simple infections are those occurring in young animals that are triggered by one-time or simple events, for example, flea infestation. Complex infections are recurrent and are associated with underlying diseases, such as allergies, flea allergy, atopic dermatitis, food allergy, internal diseases, particularly endocrinopathies such as hypothyroidism or hyperdrenocorticism, seborrheic conditions, including follicular or sebaceous gland diseases, parasitic diseases, demodex canis, follicular dysplasias, and atomic predispositions, skin folds. Etiology of pyoderma in dogs and cats. The primary pathogen of dogs is Staphylococcus intermedius. Normal resident bacteria in canine skin can also cause pyoderma, but these organisms may play a role as secondary pathogens, but often acid intermedius is required for a pathologic process to ensue. Normal resident bacteria in feline skin include Acinetobacter species, Micrococcus species, Coagulus negative Staphylococci, and Alpha hemolytic Streptococci. Transient bacteria in feline skin include Alkalogene species, Bacillus species, E. coli, P. mirabilis, Pseudomonas species, Coagulus positive and Coagulus negative Staphylococci, and Alpha hemolytic Streptococci. Pyoderma can be classified based on the depth of infection. Surface, superficial, or deep. Surface pyoderma includes acute moist dermatitis, hot spots, fold pyoderma, intertrigo. Superficial pyoderma or bacterial folliculitis extends into the follicular ostium and epidermal tissue. Deep pyoderma is less common but more serious because it expands into the dermis with a higher risk of bacteremia. Deep pyoderma can be seen with any underlying trigger or acquired immunodeficiency, and it is commonly associated with dermatocosis. The most important factor in superficial pyodermas that allows a bacteria to colonize the skin surface is bacterial adherence or stickiness to the keratinocytes. Warm, moist areas on the skin, such as lip folds, facial folds, neck folds, axillary areas, dorsal or plantar interdigital areas, vulvar folds, and tail folds, often have higher bacterial counts than other areas of skin and are at an increased risk of infection. Pressure points, such as elbows and hocks, are prone to infections possibly because of follicular irritation and rupture, due to chronic repeated pressure. Clinical Findings and Lesions of Pyoderma in Dogs and Cats In dogs, superficial pyoderma commonly appears as follows. Multifocal areas of alopecia. Follicular papules or pustules. Epidermal collarettes. Crusts and scales. The hallmarks of deep pyoderma in dogs are pain, crusting, odor, and exudation of blood and pus. Superficial pyoderma in cats is usually due to Staphylococcus species. It is often overlooked and underdiagnosed. Feline pyoderma is most common in allergic skin diseases, parasitic diseases, and feline chin acne. Miliary dermatitis can be a clinical manifestation of superficial pyoderma. Cats with deep pyoderma is often present with alopecia, ulcerations, hemorrhagic crusts, and draining tracts. Recurrent non-healing deep pyoderma in cats can be associated with systemic disease, such as feline immunodeficiency virus or feline leukemia virus, or atypical mycobacteria. Diagnosis of pyoderma in dogs and cats. Based on clinical signs, bacterial culture, and ruling out other causes of folliculitis. Use of a woods lamp, direct examination of hairs for the presence of hyphae or spores, or fungal culture, can be performed to rule out dermatophytosis. Negative deep skin scrapings rule out follicular dermatocosis. 
Skin cytology is one of the most valuable tools for the diagnosis of pyoderma, allowing the identification of inflammatory cells and bacteria. Skin cytology can also help identify malassezia dermatitis, which is a common confection. Pyodermas are triggered by underlying problems The most common underlying triggers of superficial pyoderma include allergies, atopic dermatitis, food and flea bite allergy, endocrinopathies, hypothyroidism, hyperdrenocorticism, keratinization disorders, follicular dysplasias, ectoparasites, poor grooming, treatment of pyoderma in dogs and cats, with the spread of methicillin-resistant MSS, multidrug-resistant MDRS, Staphylococcus, the treatment of pyoderma has become more challenging. Empirical selection of systemic antibiotics is increasingly more difficult because Staphylococcus edentomedius, the most common pathogen associated with pyoderma, produces beta-lactamus. Empirical use of these antibiotics should be avoided. Penicillin, ampicillin, amoxicillin. Most strains are also resistant to tetracycline and streptomycin. As a consideration for systemic therapy, antimicrobial agents can be classified into first and second tier drugs. First tier drugs can be used empirically in animals with no history of misses treatment with second tier agents, such as fluoroquinolones, should always be based on bacterial culture and sensitivity results. Duration of therapy is important for successful management. First tier drugs include clindamycin, first-generation cephalosporins, amoxicillin clavulinate, potentiated sulfonamides. There is good evidence that topical therapy can be effective as the sole treatment in superficial pyoderma, including cases with misses. The best formulation to use will vary depending on the extent of the lesions, type of coat, and ease of application. Immunomodulators. Bacterins are defined as suspensions typically of lysed or attenuated bacteria used as vaccines to increase immunity to particular pathogens or a disease, and have been used sporadically in dogs for recurrent pyoderma. The usual dosage is 0.5 ml given subcutaneously twice weekly for 10-12 weeks. If efficacious, the frequency can be decreased to once a week or less, but in most cases, lifelong therapy is needed. When using bacterins, it is important to control the infection first by giving concurrent antimicrobial therapy for the first 4-6 weeks. Veterinary Dermatology The diagnosis and treatment of superficial pyoderma in dogs and cats 